Hello everyone, this is Adam Provost from Nutanix. In this video, we're going to spend a few moments configuring syslog for Prism Central. Go ahead and click on our Prism Central bump out, choose Prism Central settings, navigate down to syslog, and you'll notice that we have two different options here. The first one is to configure our syslog server, and then the next is the data sources. We're gonna ahead and configure our syslog server. We're gonna call this syslog server, and then we're gonna enter in the IP address of our syslog server, and then our port. Because we're gonna use UDP, we're gonna use port 514. Uh, if you were to choose TCP, uh, you would be able to enable RELP. If you choose UDP, this option will go away. So we're gonna choose UDP. You'll see that it went away. Go ahead and click configure. Takes a few seconds, and you'll see that the syslog server has been successfully configured. I will say that this is something that you do need to configure when your syslog server is up and running. Uh, it does do a handshake with the syslog server. So if you try to configure it in advance, uh, you will get an error. The next thing that we do now that we have our syslog server defined is we click edit. And then we're going to go ahead and choose our logging levels. So first of all, we select the ones that we want to log. Then we choose our logging levels. So here, I'm looking for informational messages. So I'm going to choose option six. Go ahead and click save. Excellent. Now we've successfully identified our data sources as well as our syslog server. Thanks so much for spending some time with me. Have a great day.